We're winning this one. Okay. Um, let's go broom. So we can get two different forms of DPS, and that can also set us up for a late game weapon. We can also go lump of coal because we might go mana torch um into a what do you call that thing? Magic staff? No. Whatever. The staff into the torch combo. We might do that. Um, and I'm gonna just buy those two and give me a roll. Yep, there goes a the health potion, there goes the shield, and there goes a little bit of space. Not too bad. Oof, you died. I know, right? I know, right? Going against a freaking hammer with a dagger? You got way lucky. On the first round? On the first round, you get a hammer and a dagger? That's nasty. And then you also get the banana and everything for, oh my gosh. She's got the blueberry to turn that into a spectral dagger. Like, what? How lucky can you get? How lucky can you get on the first round? Jesus. Um, can we buy everything? No, we can't. I'm gonna buy this though. I feel like those are the essentials here, honestly. Just so we can get that combination off. Man, I got mad lucky. The hell? Thank you for the lurk. I appreciate you. Going against a ranger. Hi, ranger. Um, double sword with a whetstone. We should beat them. We have a shield, and they don't. Hey, Rio. Hell yeah. Ooh, that's a lot of food. I'm gonna go health potion here because that is good. We should probably also go banana. I feel like banana is a nice choice. Should we go carrot? Nah. Nah. I'm gonna just get space here. I'm gonna reserve my money. Reserve my money, get space. I'm feeling decently confident in this build considering we have spike shields. Looks like a broom and a shovel with a shield. I'm glad that's not a spike shield. Spike shield is going to help us out a lot. If it could give me more spikes in two, three. There we go. There we go. There's our DPS coming through. There we go. Come on. Give me the W. It's only a matter of time. It's only there we go. There we go. Okay. Okay. I want that. Hmm. 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 Let's go whetstone into a hero sword and roll. Okay. 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 We can sell the garlic along with the clover to get the blueberry. I want both of those. I think that's what we'll do. Sell the clover with the garlic, get the blueberry to get the mana potion. And we'll roll with this. I feel like that'll be good. I'm gonna try to go for a steel goober. That's why I, uh, oops. That's why I got that other sword with the whetstone. Cause I can go steel goober, which might be good. I say we lose this one. We both have spike shows. They only had a wooden sword and a dagger. Jesus, that uh, leather armor really did work. Let that battle go on for like a minute more and we win for sure. It's fine though, it's fine. That's fine, you can have that. I'm glad I got me another blueberries though. That helps. Got a hungry blade. I, should we do hungry blade or magic stuff? Realistically, which one would be better in combination with the mana torch? I actually don't know. We can go either way right now. I mean, they both take the mana orb. So like, realistically, which one would be better? I feel like magic staff is more DPS, but hungry blade is more healing. Huh. Yeah, I, I actually don't know which one would be better, to be honest. Um. That was an interesting one. Mana Thirst versus Magic Staff. Because both of them would theoretically honestly be good as far as gaining DPS. I say maybe we just go Magic Staff instead of Mana Thirst. I've never done a Magic Staff um, plus um, the Mana Torch before. So I think I'm just sticking with my Magic Staff. We can also just save the money, which would be good for us. And we can get a Goobert here. Goober can help us at least maybe win next round, right? Let's um let's move these down here. Goober can go right right there. That's a good spot for a Goober. 
pretty damn good spot if i don't say so myself yep all right cool well you think the spike shields is gonna activate more than the banana i think the spike shields might uh activate a little bit more than the banana so i'm gonna go spike shields on that activation instead of banana i think that'll be better going against looks like he's gonna go for the uh the magic staff with a hero sword spike shields we probably lost this one his dps is higher i think unless the health potion saved us with the healing of the goober and it did wow okay we were definitely losing that at first that's fine though it's actually really good um oh got the magic torch let's get space i kind of do want this cap cap of discomfort can be nice for us i would love to get a leather armor but it would be too much space what i really want right now is a pull for the uh the magic orb asap that or get another whetstone to turn us into the uh the steel goober which would be good as well that's not what i was looking for to be honest but i mean getting that vampirism could i don't know that's a lot of money that's a lot of money we get 11 next round I'm gonna get it. I'm not gonna get the gloves of haste, but I will get the um I wish I could have gotten a leather armor now. Sort of vampiric armor. But it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Do we win this one? We do have the increase in DPS. We do have the better healing. We should probably win this one. Just honestly, just off of DPS alone. We take that one for sure. Good game. Oh, there we go. There we go. That's exactly what we're looking for right there. Um, keep that reserved. Let's um Get another fanny pack and roll again. There we go. All right, that's good. That's good. That's good. So then we'll have the steel goobert, which will be nice for us. We can go ahead actually and um, make this situation a little bit faster. A little something like this instead. Goes a long way, I feel. Actually, no, what we should do instead? We should actually do this. Oh, we don't have the space. Well, kind of ish. We do it. We definitely do have the space. Definitely do have the space. There we go. Move that so it's like that instead. That way we can still um, achieve what we're doing, but we also get double activation on that mana orb, which is going to help us out with DPS even more. Should be good. All right, that situation is looking nice. Situation is looking nice. Looks like a holy armor very early. What a shovel, Reaper build, lots of poison, lots of food. However, look, well, no. Oh, massive critical there. Come on. Come on. Damn. So close. Good game. Good game. So close, though. So very close. This is on sale. I'll take that. I'll take that. But now that this is a magic staff, we don't have any mana generation, which I just realized. I don't know why I didn't realize that sooner. So that's very unfortunate. So we should probably more than likely try to hard pull for some mana generation here. Blueberry is better than nothing, I guess. Um, blueberry is definitely better than nothing. Let's take that. Okay. See, we can roll with this. Probably gonna lose this one. Double Hungry Blade with a carry goober in that. Look at that vampirism. Nasty. That damage is looking pretty damn good, too. Yeah, we definitely lost that one. We got rolled right there. It's fine, though. It's fine. Let's get that still goobered on the field. Let's go ahead and turn that into a cap of discomfort. Lucky got that on sale. Now the only thing I need is another mana orb. I keep taking the blueberries because they're better than nothing. Kind of min-max this in a way. This is probably not the way to min-max it, but it'll, well, actually, that works. That way the uh, banana is getting all three and all three of those are getting hit by that. Okay. That's that's a way to do it. That's a way to do it. Um, I'm going to just buy that. It's on sale. Why not? All right. I need a mana orb. Okay. Oh, yeah. We definitely lost this one, too. We definitely lost this one, too. I mean, that is a lot of stamina usage, though, on the flip side. Um. Wow. I don't know how I didn't lose that. Honestly. I'll take it though. Ooh, and we got a shield of Valor on sale. We should definitely get that shield of Valor. 
Um, yeah, we should definitely get that shield of Valor. Let's sell the spike shields. Get the shield of Valor. I'm gonna roll again. Find that. Give me a mana orb. Holy crap, the game doesn't want to give me a mana orb right now. Jesus, our DPS is gonna be extremely limited without that mana orb, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna move you down here like that and then let's move the entire situation down by one shield can go there actually no 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 i want you there and then that can go there that can go there shield can go here orb and then we can just rock double blueberry on that activation like this and that's huh well that'll work awesome all right cool boom that can go up there for now and you can go right there okay um we don't really need space i feel like we're good on space we just need a mana orb i'm okay we got the mana orb we have two lives we it's possible it's very possible that we can potentially win maybe not <laughs> maybe not their dps scaling is higher than ours no our dps scaling is higher but we don't have the mana in order to utilize our weapons to the greatest degree. I don't know why I said that like that, but I did. <laughs> but yeah, we don't have enough mana for it. Unless we, this is all we need. This is a 17 and 19 to do a 40 critical on dude with a 13% crit chance. But then again, there's his DPS going crazy as well. Unless we can crit here, it's over with. Nope, didn't, no crit, no crit. That's fine though, that's fine. Because now we have this guy. Which is going to be very, very good to us. Oh, we could get the moon shield. Because this generates that gain. Uh, that This generates the armor for us. So this is automatically going to generate mana. And it'll also block more. It'll, it's just overall just a good choice, I think. I'll also get that. Holy Jesus. If we can live to see another day or maybe a few days, like two days. That's all we need realistically is two days. If we could live to see two days, we will be very strong. Yes, we have the capabilities of being very strong if we can live to see two days right now. Versus double poison gooby on a... The game just doesn't want to see you win. That's all it is. That's all it comes down to, realistically. The game just, for some very odd reason, the game doesn't want to see you in. I hope I can out DPS this person. I'm glad I got the cap of discomfort, though. At least that's going to help just a little bit. But the debuffs are coming through. However, our DPS is kind of nice. Oh, game over. That critical right there is what set the game apart. I was so prepared to lose. I was so prepared to lose. But now we got the moon shield, which is good. We can also get that for the vampiric armor. Oh my God. Okay. Let's switch this around like that so we can put the armor there. Um, Honestly, the armor there doesn't even matter, but I'm a, well, it might be better just not to put the armor there because it's not going to activate. It activates once and that's it means putting the armor here will probably be better and just continue the old setup that we had before probably the best bet best way to do this right now only thing is this has to go somewhere that's actually going to generate us mana i feel like on one of the weapons would be the best choice um i think right here was pretty good we didn't really run out of mana too much with it being right there just not sure how I'm gonna set that up really um I mean wait I mean that works we're we're missing out on one slot however that might not be too big of a problem honestly which one attacks more one point yeah yeah that's not horrible it's not horrible right it's not horrible let's roll again that was a good roll. Let's get you, you, and you. And win! We have to win this next one. 
Okay. What is this? A fatigue build with ripshaw blade, a little bit of okay. This doesn't look like a very good build, in my opinion. I mean, watch I lose to it. While I'm talking shit. Watch I lose to it. But I feel like we should be fine. In the most part. I feel like we should be fine. I feel like our DPS is just a little bit or a lot of bit better than theirs. Um, and it's not like we're running Ripshaw Blade or anything like that. So he's pretty much relying on Faith Teeth to take side. I mean, he does have a lot of armor, though. And we have, like, no healing at all. And that Faith Teeth is already doing damage to us. Hold up now. Hold up now. We need we need some we need some DPS. Come on, DPS. There we go. 38. Keep climbing. Keep climbing because we're going to get a lot more than that. Faith Teeth just clicked in. Holy crap. Come on. Oh, no. He's got potions. At least he proc them all. Come on. Come on, DPS. Yes, go! 84 critical? That was a lot. All right. That was huge. That was a huge round for us. Massive even. We need that. Um, honestly, getting this cap of resilience is probably the better play. But yeah, that was a massive freaking round for us. Okay. Let's move over twice. Let's put you there. Um, this can go there. Um... I need some spaces for my foodie, foodie foods. I think that's okay. Hey, put that down there. And... That can go there. Let's rotate you. I might bring you closer, actually. Potentially. That can go there. That's not a horrible spot, I suppose. And this one can go there. That way, at least both of the weapons are activated on the uh, magic orbs. And this is also going to be giving us mana. So, as far as activations of mana go, we're straight. This isn't bad. Cap resilience can go there. So now we got that 25% reduced damage and that 25% reduced damage. The thing is... Oh, I thought this was debuffs. That's opponent gains above 15% chance to nullify. Okay, that's not bad. Healing reduce is good, though. Being a crit stun, that's good. I'm going to reserve both of those. And next round, we should definitely win. We should definitely go in. Going against Double Mana Thirst Pandanomium? What kind of build is this? Is this just a, uh, a proc build? A DJ and Lamp proc build, potentially? I mean, he's got the mana generation. He's got the uh, spike generation. He's got the infinite block going on. Um, the only thing he's missing is luck. Yeah, he's not going to be able to gain that luck. He's got one blueberry. So this definitely isn't going to proc. So we should definitely be able to take this one home. Our mana generation is, is pretty damn nice right now. DPS scaling is pretty damn nice right now. Um, we might. I think the best bet next is probably to get more mana orbs to see if we can proc a mana orb. That'll help us out. Um, probably some clovers and critting. We definitely need crit. Crit is going to be a big factor in our continuation of winning. Unless we can get more mana in order for our blueberries to proc a lot more for us. That'll be straight. Um, Blood Amulet? Maybe? For the sake of vampirism? Ah. Nah. Pass on that. Clover is good. Roll. Should we get a box of riches? Just for jewels? Hmm. Jewels could be interesting. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. Jewels could be interesting. I'm, I'm going to just pass on that. Okay, there we go. That's what we wanted. Another clover. Not another clover, but another uh, orb. The thing is, we don't have enough money for it right now, and I'm not really sure if I want to risk it for the biscuit <laughs> in order to get some money that's a little bit better situation we can also just put that down there they get that activation again and this guy can crap well you know what let's just put that there you can go down there you don't matter where you go or we could uh nope nope I'm just sad that there's nothing touching it. That's my only, like, concern. Is, like, there's literally nothing touching that thing. Just a bunch of blueberries. We could do that, actually. 
Why didn't I think about it? That's way better. That's three blueberries touching you, buddy. You should be straight right now. You should be damn good. All right, this is looking good, though. This is looking good, though. If I could sell something for two gold, what would it be? Would it just be the clovers? Because we might be able to generate enough mana to just rely on the blueberries for the clover generation now, right? Right. If I were to do that, where would I put you, though? Here? I would like to put one over here, but we don't have space for it. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Let's sell both of the clovers. Right? Yeah, we can sell both of the clovers. In order to get this other mana orb, you can go back right there. Now we just need space, which I could maybe just honestly do this instead. And then, uh... Just put that down there. Or even... Nah. Hmm. If I did it right there instead. Alright, that might not be horrible. That might not be horrible. Going against a blood... Th oh, that's a lot of mana generation. Or stamina. That's a lot of stamina. That's a lot. Of he got the stamina potions. I'm glad we got the shield, though. We'll have to see. He might be able to out-DPS us. Honestly. Oh shit, we were able to generate those clovers. Y'all see those clovers? So I was right. That was a good choice. Instead of uh, keeping those clovers there, we literally generated four clovers from the blueberries. Now we're at eight. Our crit chance should be... Why are... Why do you not have crit chance? Oh! No way. The ranger bag's over there. We still win this though, right? Right? So I can right my wrongs? Okay. I got a chance to wrap this entire time? No way this entire time, right? Right? That's a lot of time. That's That had to have been like a few rounds at least. Right? I can't not believe that's a thing that, uh, that just happened. We can put you... Right there. You're going right there. Right freaking there. Boom. Boom. Um, and then we just kind of need to fill up this space again. Fill this space up with space, I guess. Um, how did I have it? You was there. You were there. And the orb was here. Banana. We can put you back right there and then the blueberry i think we just bought this right just put that anywhere we want honestly actually no we could put you over here that works just buy that for no reason yep i just bought it for no reason <laughs> it's fine though all right cool i was looking good I cannot believe that entire time we weren't having crit at all on our weapons. Not even a little bit of crit. I thought they were. No wonder. We might have been able to win a few ones beforehand, potentially. I don't know. Hopefully. Look at that critical. There we go. That's what I need. Going against a really big great sword. Oh, crap. Is he... He's not going to have the proc, right? No. No way he's going to... Yeah. He's not... Pro well... No, nah, he's not proccing. He's not proccing on that dragon. Yeah, he's not proccing on the dragon. We should be, we should be, a, blah, blah, blah. oh my god. We should definitely be able to take this one home. Out of stamina? Oh, that might be a problem. That might be a problem. Um, holy shit. Massive damage. We do have a stamina problem, though. Good game, though. We have a stamina problem. Um, I know I want space for sure. How are we going to fix this stamina problem? Should we get more? We should probably get more bananas. More bananas, more space. If we can find more bananas. I kind of want to get this garlic. I'm going to get the garlic just because I've been rolling for a good little minute now. And that's a little bit better. Um. I can honestly move this down by one. No, it doesn't. It doesn't really matter. To be honest. I just had a realization. 
I just had a freaking realization. I just realized how many fanny packs. You can fit six fanny packs on this. I've always been doing like one, two, three fanny packs. But look at that. That's one, two. You could really fit like just a six. If I did it up there as well, you could fit whole, six whole fanny packs on this thing. Just to make it as fast as, as possible. Because the faster this thing procs, the more this procs, which is good. We just got to worry about killing ourselves though. Because this takes 30 health. It's not the best, especially if we go and get someone, um, especially if we go and get somebody that has the sapphires, because our block is kind of nice right now, but if we go and get someone with sapphires that breaks through block, then we might be fucked, which is bad. Very, very bad. Should I roll here just to see what I get? I'm going to roll here just to see what I get. Got a banana, which is good. That's kind of what we were looking for in the first place. Double Bloodthorn. With a bunch of bananas, stamina potion. Okay. He's got the birdie. Getting rid of our uh, our clovers. Might not be that big of a problem, though. He does have the, the Sapphire Jewel, which that is a problem. A very big problem. However, he's got a stamina issue. The blue, the, the bananas aren't enough, especially since we got Moonshot on a play. Bananas aren't enough. Doesn't look very good for him right now. That's that that freaking blood goober is going crazy. Holy critical. Holy critical. There we go. Keep him coming. Nice. Nice. Okay. Let's get the blue or the, the banana. We can also get another mana orb. I do not. Oh, that's exactly what we're looking for. Exactly what we're looking for. Um, We could put it there. I am not turning you into a crit wood, but yeah, we could put it there. That's a good spot. We kind of need space. We kind of have it, surprisingly. Yeah. Boom, boom, boom. And then this can go just go right there. So that's got double blueberries. That's got triple blueberries. And this guy can go right there for the activations. I don't think that's a bad spot. So yeah, that's good. We should be able to proc the blueberries now Ooh, or proc the, the mana orbs going against the hammer dagger and he's got spectral dagger too that's very dangerous we have no healing we have no healing the only healing no no we no yeah the only healing we have is if mana is used and his heals heals for five though that's not a lot of healing we don't have any orbs to increase that healing either so we're just going to have to hope we kill him before he kills us. Which is not looking very likely right now. Hammer build is crazy. If we had more healing, we would have probably won this one. Ah, oh, so close. The poison got us so close. If we had healing there, I think we would have won that one with jewels. But we only got to survive one more round. So getting jewels is probably pointless. Um, We could just go blood amulet. <laughs> right our wrongs, get blood amulet. Get the boots as well for no reason. Just because they're there and they're on sale. And maybe a blueberry literally for another no reason. And that'll be game. This was a pretty solid round though. Another hammer build. This one looks way dangerous than the previous. What the fuck? It looks like this dude literally just W keyed all the things. he. Cause look at this. He got a corrupted armor with three corrupted crystals. You know how much armor he's going to gain from inflicting the seven debuffs on one, two, three, four, five poison daggers, curse dagger, bro. And he's also got the healing because of the bloody daggers. And with the majority of those daggers being inside the storage coffin, what is this? How lucky can you get? I'm going to keep saying that. How lucky can you get? How lucky? can you possibly get because look at that he hits us and he gains armor like it's borderline not fair <laughs> borderline not fair i'm surprised we're still alive but we're not we're not gonna last any longer even with our dps as soon as we get stunned for, bro bro, uh, bro are we gonna win no way right 
Holy sh... Hold up! Ooh! I can't believe we won. I can't believe we beat this. Excuse me? I swear the previous hammer build was like way weaker than this one. This one, the previous one only had a, I mean, we probably only lost because of Spectral Dagger and the fact that he was hitting our health and not our armor and we had like no healing. That's probably it because this guy had no Spectral Dagger. So all his damage he was dealing to us was going straight through our, our block, right? Which helped us a lot considering the amount of block that we generate from Vampiric Armor along with Steel Goober and then them having that 30% more block probably helped us a lot. Um, but even so, I was not expecting to win this. We had 99 poison on us. And this dude was generating seven block per debuff inflicted on us. I mean, that's insane. Honestly, that is insane. That is insane. I can't believe we won. That was a good game versus Mr. TNT captain. That was a good game.